Hi there, Sagittarius. How are all my Sagittariuses doing? So we will get a reading for February of 2024. This is more of a spread for a love reading. So if you don't have a love question on your mind, then this most likely isn't for you. Um, it's also a good idea if you know your Venus sign to use your Venus signs for love readings. Um, that's fine. You can use your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If one of them doesn't make sense, check your other signs and see if that resonates. What do we have for my Sagittariuses? So in your energy, we've got the King of Swords. In their energy, we've got the Three of Swords in the reverse. So it looks like your person that's on your mind has done some healing. And you are looking forward to coming forth with some new communication towards them. But we've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse between the two of you. So I feel like both of you may be more intellectual rather than emotional. Um, one of you or both of you may be handling this in an emotionally immature kind of way for some reason. Or maybe the healing that they had to do, maybe they were emotionally immature, they've done some healing, and now they're ready for bigger things as far as emotions go. We've got the Magician card in your energy in the present here. Um, that talks about alchemy, uh, being resourceful, um, you know, manifesting. Like, that's a very powerful card to get. You are in your power, Sagittarius. And in their energy, I feel like they may be possibly wanting to plan a trip. Not sure what this is or they're going on a trip soon. We've got the tower card in the reverse, so I think both of you came out of a tower moment. Everything came crumbling down and, you know, went in the gutter. And you've both been rebuilding from ground zero that may be part of that healing that they've been doing. Like, there was a crappy situation that you're both coming out of and rebuilding your empires. In your energy, we've got the Ten of Coins in the reverse. In their energy, we've got the Chariot in the reverse. And between the two of you, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So I feel like they've done healing. They've uh, done a great deal of it. But I feel like there still needs to be more. Because this Ace of Cups in the reverse talks about not the time for emotional new beginnings. Maybe communication to grow towards it. But take it slow is what it's looking like, because with this chariot in the reverse, this may make sense for some of you, not for everyone. Is it possible that your person may be not quite over their ex or some type of situation in the past? It doesn't have to be another person, but they may be struggling from something in the past. And with the ten of coins in the reverse, I feel like maybe you've had some financial setbacks. Both of you are going through some things, is what I'm getting. But in different areas. With that Queen of Coins in the reverse, that verifies you may have been struggling financially. So they have the Page of Cups in the upright, in their energy. So I feel like they're on an emotional healing journey and you're on a financial healing journey, is what I'm getting. With that Page of Cups that talks about uh, fresh new starts, giving the green light for emotional new beginnings, that's in, your, in their future, though. Because in the present, we've got the Ace of Cups talking about not the time for uh, emotional new beginnings. And in the energy between the two of you for the future, we've got the Queen of Swords. So I think both of you, you financially, them emotionally, you're both side by side doing some healing. And I think that if both of you um, use intellect versus emotion, you know, and uh, like go more logical, like make a head over heart decision with some things, I think that that's going to help with healing with both of you. I do think that the love is there, but you're both just going through some things right now. 
Yep, between the both of you, we've got the death card, which symbolizes massive change, which makes sense with that tower card in reverse coming up from a upheaval. Um, yeah, this is like a total transformation, brand new chapter, both of you side by side going through some things and supporting one another. Ooh, they've got the King of Wands in the reverse, though. I think maybe part of their emotional healing is, is they recognized within themselves that sometimes they may have an explosive temper where when they get frustrated, they kind of have this attitude of, fine, I'm not doing anything. Like, they lose motivation and they refuse to move forward and do anything. Doesn't have to be, um... You know, and then you've got the Six of Swords in the reverse in your energy that talks about having a difficult time moving on or moving forward. Maybe you're having a hard time leaving a current job when you know that there's something better out there and you're just kind of stuck right now. In your energy, we've got the hanged man in the reverse. Interesting. So that talks about a fresh new perspective. Maybe you, like, opened your eyes up to some new opportunities and this is going to be a new beginning for you. And they, in their energy, have the five of wands in the reverse that talks about the end of conflict. And with that moon card in the reverse... So that talks about things being hidden beneath the surface. So there's a lot to be revealed yet that maybe you're not quite meant to know at this time. Um, yeah, you and your person do have a lot going on. It doesn't mean the love is any less, but you're both just going through a lot right now. Be patient, stick it through. Both of you work on your healing, check in with one another. I think you'll be good to go. I hope that made sense for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a great rest of your night and enjoy your month of February of 2024. Thanks for watching.